Um, this is a personal message and I'm making it just for you. And uh, someone had uh, said something to me um, just in the last week and it really made me think. And so I wanted to take the time to just sort of share some thoughts and ideas um, because it is Easter this weekend. And um, a lot of people focus on um, other things during Easter uh, rather than, um, you know, what it's really all about. So I just wanted to share a couple of things. And the reason why this sort of came um, to the, I guess, the forefront of my thoughts was um, that she had told me about they had uh, three deaths in their family and that um, they had to go to three different funerals all, I think, on the same weekend. Um, and for them, it was a time of actually rejoicing because they knew uh, their loved ones uh, where they were going to spend eternity and that would be in heaven. So um, the reason why I'm sort of wanting to share some things is to just maybe give you the opportunity to really think hard, long and hard about, um, you know, the future long-term future, eternity. Um, several years ago, um, I had come to the re realization that I wasn't in control of my life. Um, a lot of things got crazy. I've always sort of looked for fulfillment in um, outside sources, um, you know, such as just, you know, seeking finances, seeking just pleasure and a good time, seeking love, um, and many times when you would think that someone's got it all figured out and, and they're sitting on top of the world, um, at the end of the day, they're not necessarily feeling peace and, um, you know, feeling good about the future. Um, a lot of people have fear about what could happen if something were to happen to them or to their loved ones, um, you know, someone that you... Um, really cherish and so it's it's these kind of thoughts that make me want to um, really share more about you know what's happened with me and you know how my life has changed um, and one of the things that really left me feeling empty um, you know happened uh, when a couple of relationships uh, came to an abrupt end and all in one week I had uh, lost a job and a spouse and uh, you know because he decided to leave and, and move on and I just came to a point in my life where I realized that um, you know there really was gonna have to be some big huge change because I was scared, I was alone, I didn't know what I was going to do, and um, part of that also, that fear was, you know, that I had gotten myself into this huge debt with this person, but when they left, of course they left the debt with me so that I would pay for it. That's um, also part of the reason why those of you that know that I had a house and I paid it off, um, that I turned around and I sold my house so that I could pay off my debt and walk away from everything and, and not owe anybody any money. Um, and I've sworn that I will never get into that situation again. But um, what happened in the middle of all of that is I just threw it all up and I said, you know, um, I had um, been doing a lot of reading and, and I had been um, meeting and um, I guess being mentored by some some people that were Christians and they knew the Lord and and I really liked the way that their lives looked from my perspective. They seemed to have peace and they seemed to be just so wise and and they had a great life. Um, and so when I came to that point where I was just like, gosh, you know, I don't know what to do. And so I just I told God, I said, you know, if you're real, just show me. Um, Prove it to me. Show show me that you're real. Um, you know, I will put my faith in you and, and know that uh, your son Jesus died for me. 
if you can show to me that that really happened and that, you know, you can um, just make some kind of miracle happen in my life. And, and it was pretty quick to where I knew that God was real and, and that Jesus was his son. And um, I felt this sense of peace that, you know, I can't even hardly explain, but it's almost like God was just holding me in his hands and let me know that everything was going to be all right. Um, and you don't necessarily find all the answers immediately in that moment, but you find peace and, you know, just look to God to, to help you through those things. And so, um, basically, um, what I'd like to do is challenge you that if you find yourself in that position, um, that you can, um, you know, ask God that same question to prove it to you too. So, um, I, I know I don't have a lot of time here to do this, um, this special message for you, but I challenge you that don't wait until you find yourself um, at the end of your rope to reach out. Um, so anyway, that's my Easter message for you. Love you, and um, I look forward to um, sharing more with you. So if you have questions, get in touch with me, and I may not have all the answers, but I can help you find them. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Have a good Easter. Bye.